Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. We'd hope to be off the Twitter beat by now since there was actual news happening in the world, but there was a development in the president's ongoing feud with a certain cable news outlet that we felt was revealing enough to bring you details of tonight. Remember that professional wrestling video the president tweeted out the other day, the one with the CNN logo superimposed on the face of the villain? How could you forget that? Well, we interrupt this broadcast for some breaking news because CNN had its own crack investigative team working through the night to hunt down who made that seconds long piece of tape because nothing is more important than that. And in the end, of course, they found out. We'll let them explain what happened next. The Reddit user behind it posted his apology after CNN identified and tried to contact him. He apologized for some of his other posts that were racist and anti-Semitic. CNN is not publishing the user's name because of his apology, his removal of all the offensive posts, and his pledge not to repeat this behavior on social media. Well, there's a lot to unpack here. First, one of the biggest news organizations in the world spent a ton of money and a ton of time trying to find out who made this video. Now, you probably don't care who made it because why would you care? Some guy on the internet crushing him is not that important. But CNN felt it was vital. Why did they feel that way? Because in politics, all dissent merits a response, even if it was a joke. Whatever it takes to beat your opponent, in this case Trump, is worth doing. So this is oppo research posing as journalism. Then there's a the question of this guy's name. CNN is keeping it secret. Why are they doing that? Well, as you just heard them explain, because the man in question has apologized and promised he'll never do it again. Wait a second. When did CNN become a law enforcement agency or a religious order? Since when is it CNN's job to police the internet for immorality, to spare punishment in return for repentance? Maybe they'll start selling indulgences next. But that was just the first explanation for why they're withholding the name. CNN later announced that it has, quote, decided not to publish the name of the Reddit user out of concern for his safety. But that turned out to be an even more problematic explanation since the network had already announced that if the naughty internet guy in question ever got naughty on the internet again, for example, by, I don't know, criticizing CNN, then they'd release his name, which by their own description might imperil his life, which to a lot of people seemed pretty much like blackmail. Do as we say or we'll hurt you. Conventional news organizations don't typically make threats like that, ever. So it was not a tough day for CNN today. One of their morning show anchors may have come up with the simplest answer of all. Let social media decide what to do about this guy's identity. Twitter, the perfect forum for thorny moral questions. Here's the quote. Should CNN reveal name of Reddit user who made Trump wrestling video? That's a tweet from Chris Cuomo. Quote, had a lot of bigoted and hateful material on page and website. Okay, so releasing this guy's name would endanger his safety, but then again, he's got, quote, bigoted and hateful material on his website, so maybe he deserves it. You decide, citizens of Twitter. Spare or kill him, your call. This is getting grotesque. We're all better off when CNN stuck to wars and hurricanes and missing airplanes. Mark 